night, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He was sent to a virgin. The girl was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel greeted her and said, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset because of his words. She wondered what kind of greeting this could be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. The Son of the Most High God will rule forever over his people. They are from the family line of Jacob. The kingdom will never end. How can this happen, Mary asked the angel. I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child, even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because of what God said will come, always come true. This I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her. <clears throat> At the time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in Judea, hill country. There she entered uh, Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby inside her jumped, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she called out, God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. But why is God so kind to me? Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord will keep his promises to you. Mary said, my soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. He has taken note of me, even though I am not considered important. From now on, all people will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is Holy. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him. From parent to child, down through the years, he has done mighty things. With his powerful arm, he has scattered those who are proud in their deepest thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones. But he has lifted up people who are not considered important. He has filled with good things those who are hungry, and he has sent away empty those who are rich. He has helped the people of Israel who served him. He has always remembered to be kind to Abraham and his children down through the years. He has done it just as he has promised to our people of long ago. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months. Then she returned home. The time came for Elizabeth to have her baby. She gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had been very kind to her. They shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to have the child circumcised. They were going to name him Zechariah like his father, but his mother spoke up. No, she said, he must be called John. They said to her, No one among your relatives has that name. Then the mo they motioned to his father. They wanted to find out what he would like to name the child. He asked for something to write on. Then he wrote, His name is John. Everyone was amazed. Right away, Zechariah could speak again. Right away, he praised God. All his neighbors were filled with fear and wonder. Throughout Judea Hill country, people were talking about all these things. Okay. Now, in those days... Caesar Augustus made a law. He required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of people while Quintus was governor of Syria. 
everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. He is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. May peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and... <coughs> found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in the manger. After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. The shepherds returned. They gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as a they had been told when the child was eight year, days old he was circumcised at the same time he was named Jesus this was the name that the angel had given him before his mother became pregnant